I welcome you all for the today's session. Uh, today we are going to identify the name of the topic from the given picture using some connection. Okay, that is important. Can you judge it? Yes, that is an important problem types. So that is a today's topic. Okay, so this is the fourth topic in uh, unit one. Design and analysis of algorithm. We can travel uh, through the subject uh, with some problems. We can identify the problem, and problems can be solved using different algorithmic strategies. Um, so, what kind of problem we can uh, solve in the entire subject? So, that is an important problem types. Okay. So, these are the important problem types: sorting, searching string processing, uh, uh, text string, bit strings, genus sequence, uh, graph problems, combinatorial problems, and uh, uh, geometric problems and numerical problems. These are the problems we are, are going to discuss in an entire subjects. subject. First one is the sorting. Sorting is nothing but, uh, you are already aware of sorting, we already uh, studied some uh, kind of sorting in a design uh, data structures and algorithms. Uh, sorting is nothing but, uh, uh, before we move to the topic, uh, what is the need of sorting? Sorting uh, mainly used for um, searching. If you have bulk of data without sorting, you can't uh, you can't uh, um, you can't search the element in the data element in the data, right? For example, you have a thousand members database with me. And if if it is in shuffled order, how can I search? Either it may be ordered in a based upon a roll number or based upon your name it may be it may be in ascending or descending order then only it makes us my, my search easier so sorting makes searching easier okay so uh, there are different uh, sorting algorithms are there uh, quick sort selection sort bubble sort insertion sort uh, merge sort heap sort you know a different kind of sorting algorithm why these kind of sorting algorithms are there is so it one, one is enough no because uh, um, all sorting it take an input as same input and produce the same output. What is the difference? The difference is time efficiency. So to improve uh, which sorting algorithm is best uh, yeah, for larger number of inputs, which one is produce the output in a shorter time that is the best sorting algorithm. Okay, so uh, to depict that I am going to show one video recording that. Okay, so this is the uh, video regarding that. Here you have an uh, insertion chart, selection chart, bubble chart, serial chart, merge chart, keep chart, quick chart. So here uh, the inputs, uh, inputs types are given, whether the inputs are in random order or nearly shorted or in reversed order. Reverse means are entirely in reverse. For example, I'm going to sort an ascending order means it will be in a descending order. Then few unique elements for a two elements are the same means what kind of uh, time it will take. See, we will see one by one. For random, which one, which algorithm will be perform better? That is a heap chart. Okay. So for every type of input, selection chart is very slower. See second one, near, nearly sorted. Right. Yes. Again, the selection chart is slower. Then reversed. Which one performs better? Heap chart. So for every kind of input, heap shot produce an efficient output. See here, this one. Which one is a better? Yes, L shot. And pick three. Right, again it gets slower. Right? Okay, these are the some sorting techniques available with a different time complexity for different kind of input. Was it clear? Okay, these are the uh, sorting. So now sorting is a uh, rearrange or arrange the element in a order. Okay, maybe in ascending or a descending order. Yeah, there are two kind of sorting: stable and in place sorting. Stable is nothing but uh, if it it preserves the relative order of any two equal elements in input. Okay, the in place sorting uh, is nothing but does not require extra memory except possibly for few memory units. Okay, that is on sorting searching so sorting make searching easier okay then how you perform a sort searching 
okay if i am going to search a particular record how can i how i am going to search for example i have a pdf file i want to search on word i want to give some keyword right so through the key i am going to search a roll number or a name or a sir anything or anything address everything everything i am going to search in a particular document with the help of some key right uh, this can be possible you only two methods sequential search and binary search sequential search uh, is nothing but uh, you can uh, searching in order if you got 10 100 elements uh, you want to say, start from first element second element third element up to you want to reach you can't uh, start search in the middle of element so, okay in binary search you should be search in a you should make a search in a in, um, you can divide the input uh, elements into half of half through finding a mid value you then compare a key value with mid value if key value matches with the mid value it will return the key mid value otherwise it is uh, less the key is less than the mid value it will search the left side of the list otherwise it will search right side of the list mm. so half of the elements if, uh, if it may be present in any one side of the list so half the half of the elements no need of making a searching operation it will take, take half of the time compared to sequential search now we going to see some few um, video animation video for sequential and binary search
Yes, the next uh, with, uh, problem type is a string processing. I think you uh, get uh, knowledge on uh, sorting and binary searching algorithms. Uh, string is a sequence of characters. Either you can uh, define a string as a collection of characters or a collection of all four numeric characters or collection of digits. You can call it as a strings. Mm, uh, the strings may be three kind of uh, strings, maybe a uh, uh, bit strings, uh, special characters, numbers, and also called a Jenny sequence. Jenny sequence can be four character alphabet A, C, G, T. Okay. So in uh, C programming itself, you can study about more string processing methods, that is uh, more string operations, like a string concatenation, string identification, you can find in the first string from the second string, that is called string matching or string pa pattern matching. Everything the search engines mainly used to use the string matching, string matching algorithm or pattern matching algorithm. Most of the search engines, with help of the pattern matching algorithm only, they search the whatever we want uh, search over the internet. Uh, the string processing plays a major role in the computer languages and compiling issues. Um, so uh, the string processing called as a string matching or a pattern matching. Uh, the next problem is a graph problem. A graph can be a uh, thought of collection of edges and uh, vertices and edges. Um, the edges vertices can be represented vertices can be represented by uh, circles and then edges can be represented by um, edges can be represented by a uh, uh, maybe a directed or undirected uh, edges. Uh, there are some real world problems uh, or uh, for a graph problem transportation. Uh, communication, social and economic networks, project scheduling and games. So in a transportation, for example, uh, we have a bus, uh, buses, go, uh, for example, government buses move to the different places. So we, uh, I'm going to depict the government buses and their, and their, uh, um, and their event locations. It will maybe a, a graph format and communication wherever you form a network, maybe a social media or a, any air, um, airport details or railway, railway details, everything will be depicted by a graph problems. There are some real world examples uh, in our data structures and algorithm itself. You had uh, discussed different uh, kind of problems. Or test path algorithm using digit cross, topological shorting for uh, prerequisite test of uh, course selection, and uh, traveling salesman problem and graph coloring problem. In graph coloring problem, no two edges have the no two adjacent states have the same prom, same color. Here, if we want to use a minimum color uh, for maximum number of states. Okay, these are the some real time graph problems. Combinatorial problem. Combinatorial problem is nothing but uh, um, here we can't find an exact solution. If I'm going to find a find a solution to the problem, I can't judge the, I can't tell this is an exact solution. It may be a permutation, a combination, or subset of solutions are there that satisfy some constraints. The best example for combinatorial problem is a n queens problem. N may be any four queens or eight queens. If I tell it as a four queens problem, it will be depicted by four cross four matrix or four cross four chessboard. Okay, the constraint is here. Uh, there is no two queens can be placed in the same row, same column or same diagonal. This is the constraint. It having a maximum value or a minimum value. Okay. Uh, geometric problem. Geometrical is nothing but uh, uh, maybe it, it maybe depend upon the lines, points, and polygons. Okay, um, and uh, so simple geometric shapes or triangle, circles, and so on with unmarked ruler and can compass. Okay, so here um, it, this geometrical problems can be solved uh, line segment problem using closest pair and convex skull problem. These are the problems we are discussed under this important types. Numerical problem. Numerical problem is nothing but uh, it's solving equations, computing defini definite integrals, and evaluating functions. There are uh, complex numerical problems are available uh, for complex integrals, and um, some application uh, mathematical applications problem can be solved by using the uh, numerical problems. So these are the important problem types. We are um, in uh, in the entire subject. We are going to. Uh, discuss about different type of problems related to this important problem types. Okay, so before move to the assessment, we have once um, summarized the today's session. Uh, the first type is a sorting, searching, and the string processing have three things: uh, text strings, bit strings, and Jenny sequence. And then graph problems, graph problems, commentarial problems, and geometrical problems, and numerical problems. So, and through the assignment, you can uh, judge by your um, 
uh, grasping power in this class um, arrange the elements in order so what kind of problem you can going to match arranging elements means that is called shorting right then n queens problem n queens problem will belong to combinatorial problem convex hull it is represented by using points so it belongs to geometric problem integral calculus is a numerical problem graph coloring is graph, graph problem find a new string in an existing as a string processing find a given number this is called uh, this belongs to searching okay so please go through if you have any doubt feel free to ask in any time okay so thank you for watching today's session we will meet you on shortly in the next class